Cadus V4 is an amazing, super capable single board computer with ARM 64 bit CPU. And today I'm going to get rid of the huge heatsink and the fan to put it in this gorgeous case with passive cooling. This is KKSB Cadus V4 metal aluminum black case. In order to assemble this case, I'll need some tools. Actually, the assembly process is straightforward, but I'll need a screwdriver. The first step is to remove the existing heatsink and fan from Cadus V4. There are four screws that hold the fan to the heatsink, but I've quickly realized that I can disassemble the whole heatsink without removing the fan. Of course, before removing the heatsink and the fan, I also had to disconnect the wires that connect the fan to Cadus V4. Now my Cadus V4 is free of the active cooling and I can proceed with the assembly of KKSB aluminum case. I have to remove the protective film from both sides of the thermal pad for the case. As you can see I didn't remove the original thermal pad so I'll have two thermal pads. I have to place the three control buttons to the relevant cutouts on the case. After that I have to place in Cadus V4 and align it. Finally to secure uh, the board uh, with screwdrivers on the bottom. Last but not least, there are four rubber feet. This metal case has been specially designed to fit Cadus V4 and it's not appropriate for older models. It is made of CNC machined aluminium. On the top of the case there is an opening for the GPIO header of V4. Cadus V4 is a very powerful single board computer with a lot of interfaces and this aluminium case has labeled cutouts for all of them. The KKSB case for V4 has been designed by a team of professionals in Sweden, but actually the small text here on the packaging says it's made in China. Well, nowadays almost anything is made in China, isn't it? Well, not exactly. If you're interested, you can have a look at the open source hardware gadgets that I make here in my hometown Povdy, Bulgaria. Mechanical keyboards, Internet of Things for home automation and Raspberry Pi add-on boards. They are all open source hardware and designed with the free and open source software to KiCad. Now comes the most interesting part. Let's do a stress test to see the temperature that this case maintains. Before turning on Cadus V4, I have to do a little bit of wiring because I'm going to connect an HDMI monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. Cadus V4 is powered from a USB-C connector and by the way, if you're interested in more details about V4, have a look at my video review of it. I have to press the button to turn on the single board computer. Previously, I've installed the GNU Linux distribution Ubuntu on it and recently I've upgraded it. Initially, the temperature of V4 after booting Ubuntu in idle mode is less than 50 degrees Celsius. For the stress test, I'm going to load all cores of Vim4 to the maximum using the open source tool StressNG. NG stands for next generation. As you can see, I have opened two terminals. In one of the terminals, I'll be running StressNG and in the other one, I'll be observing the temperature and the CPU load. I run this test for approximately 15 minutes. StressNG did an excellent job for me to keep the CPU loaded at nearly 100% all the time. Initially, the CPU temperature quickly went to 80 degrees Celsius and after that, it continued slowly rising. After approximately 15 minutes, the temperature went up to 89.2 degrees Celsius. After that, my Cadiz Vin 4 just stopped working. So keep in mind this if you decide to go with a passive cooling. At the end of the day, if you're planning to do some very CPU and GPU demanding jobs with Cadiz Vim 4, you might consider just leaving the active cooling. Let's wrap up this quick video with conclusions. If you're looking for an option to replace the active cooling of your Cadiz Vim 4 with a passive solution and you need a nice looking case, KKSB has what you need. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.